Hey everyone, been out for a while uh, during this pandemic, so I decided uh, to do an, a new video, episode 14. As you can see, uh, I haven't done any kind of mods except uh, from the last time I just had the handguards. And now I got the uh, the seat pad on it. Uh, I'm gonna put the link below. It's from Mad Dogs, like 18 bucks. It just makes it a little bit more comfortable to ride because the seat is so narrow that I need something a little bit more padding so uh, you know it'll help me ride longer so I haven't done any kind of updates or upgrade on my bikes just been bare bones uh, and it's been great so far and this bike is more than capable that what it can do uh, it it does a lot I mean it, it was beyond my expectations what this bike can do and I was so scared to do freeways at first but now I'm on freeways almost regularly so uh, I'll keep going and uh, show you what I mean. Oh, um, before I go any further, I actually want to say uh, that the Yamaha, the 2019 Yamaha R3, uh, there's a recall in the front brakes. So I haven't been using it. Um, the bike is perfectly fine, it's working, but I'm just waiting for a dealer to call me um, once the part arrives. So that's why I've been riding the XT250 lately. And honestly, it's quite fun. And uh, I'm actually enjoying riding the dual sport now since it's been raining a lot here in LA. So back in the subject, uh, riding the freeway. Yeah, it's been, great um I'm actually more comfortable now than ever i guess i don't know i guess i just had to break in the bike the first couple months but it's been good you know it, it's you still gotta fight the wind but maybe i just started getting used to the bike how to ride it and now i'm going like top speed uh 72 miles an hour and it's great uh i haven't had any issues of course you know cars are going to be passing you by but you know that's not the case i mean as long as you're able to ride in the freeway and be comfortable with it uh that's fine and i think you know you can just you just got to make sure you're not next to uh big trucks and big cars like that so you should be fine now we're in the canyons and you can see you know it's a nice day full sun and there's a white car coming up and and i can comfortably just pass it with this bike and don't underestimate the power of this bike it's got power uh, you can actually go pretty fast on a straightaway and then there's another car, a red car right here uh, about to pass and same thing, you, you, you just, you, this guy has, the bike has more than enough power to overtake cars. As far as canyon riding goes, the cornering capability of this bike is, you know, it, it's not bad. You won't go as fast, but at the same time, it's safe enough, it, it's, it's pretty fast, you know, it's pretty comfortable to go around the corners. When you gotta lean on this bike, you gotta kinda like counterbalance just a little bit, you know. Sometimes I'm gonna stick my feet out almost like I'm dragging it, but I'm not. That's one way you can ride this corner, and, and they're pretty fun in the twisties. And you can see I'm going about 45, 50 miles an hour on these corners, so it's it's not bad. And you also gotta watch riding these uh, blind corners, you never know. Uh, like right here, you'll see debris on the ground, and so I have to really slow down and make sure that uh, I'm being careful when I'm hitting those corners. So when you're riding with a group, you're always going to be behind when you're riding a dual sport, especially if when your buddies are riding on sport bikes and you're on a dual sport. So, you know, you just have a basic understanding. Hey guys, you guys have fun. We'll just meet you at the next, uh, on the next uh, meetup spot or whatever, or whatever your points are, wherever you guys are going. And, and you know, it's totally cool. I mean... Everyone's enjoying their own ride, whether it's a group ride or if you guys just want, you know, since there's only three of us, like, hey man, go at it, have fun. And they're just enjoying it, you know, like, you know, I'm riding my own pace, they're riding my own pace, as long as we're all gonna meet up, we're supposed to meet up. And you can see, man, it's just, it's just so relaxing when you ride your own pace. Don't worry about trying to race anyone or doing anything like that. Just, just have fun, you know, enjoy the ride and you guys will see each other later. So that's my advice on that. Man, who would have thought in April in LA it's still snowing? Uh, it's been raining for the past week, so I guess we're fortunate enough to see some snow. This is Angeles Crest or La Cunada, which is probably just about 10 miles north of LA. So it's, it's not that far, it's like a 20 minute ride. But yeah, we still have snow, which is great. So that was a fun ride. So right here, I'm just gonna open up just a little bit. This is kind of like the, one of the widest sections of, of the canyon in Angeles Crest, and you can just open it up here this is where all the leader bikes really open it up just a little bit but this is fun because uh it's a wide road there's no one really here and i'm just kind of just enjoying this uh opening it up a little and again like 
whatever bike you're on, you know, just enjoy it. Like this dual sport, this XT250 is beyond my expectations. I, everyone said it's gonna be too slow, but I think you just gotta know. You just got. You just need to get to know this bike, man. This this bike is amazing. Like I'm, I'm ripping through here. Like like I'm on my sport bike. It's a lot more fun, honestly, than my sport bike because I'm more upright. And it's just so easy. It's just so fun. Like right here, I'm about to pass this pickup truck. But again, I do not recommend this passing WL line. Only when it's safe through the other lane. Like safely, please do it safely. Same thing here. I'm about to pass this car. Just do it safely, everyone. Uh, just be safe out there when you're out in the canyons. And again, just enjoy. Like this bike is perfect for anything. Like whether the canyons, freeways, off-road, you name it. This bike can handle anything and I've underestimated the power of this bike and now I'm doing this review why you should really 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 look into this bike how amazing it is see look at this white corner it can handle this really white corner with the greatest of ease oh, just so so easy well I think we're coming up here I think oh, there we go I see my buddies right there they're waiting for me. See? That's who you want to ride with. Good riding buddies. They'll wait for you. Even if you're the slowest one. But at least they wait for you and meet up with them. So that's fine. So thanks again for watching. Uh, leave any comments and hit the subscribe button. So I can make more content for you guys regarding the spike. I know I never thought I would get a lot of hits. Especially the XC250 when I did my first review on why I did the spike. And um, i gotten so many... Uh, uh, views on it and I want to keep continuing making uh, content for this bike uh, I know there's not a lot of there's not a ton of channels that actually talk about this bike there's a guy that I follow his name is no one's watching and he stopped making them I guess because um, he uh, he became a cop or something like that so you know I really learned a lot from his channels and I think um, right now there's not a lot of uh, channels that you can follow uh, dual sports especially this specific bike the the yamaha xc250 and i just want to keep making more content so that way people can have um a variety of reasons of why they want to get this bike if you do have this bike just so you can share some um, common interests uh, and experience that you have with this bike so again i thank you guys for watching this channel and i'll try to keep making more uh content uh, you know hopefully after this pandemic tones down we can get back to our normal lives again and uh, hopefully uh, this uh, help entertain you guys or just have something to watch when you have a lot of time in your hands right now. And uh, I hope you guys the best. We will get through this difficult time that we're all having and it'll all pan out. And I'm a firm believer that it, it's all going to work out fine. We're trying times right now. And I wish you all good health. We can all look back, look at this point in our lives to really just appreciate everything that we have. And um, we're just grateful to have everything that we have for our health as well. So I uh, thank you again. And um I'll catch you guys soon. Uh, take care and thanks again for watching. Okay, you guys have an awesome upcoming week.